Hello everyone and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival Star Salvage. My name is Rakuna and uh, Sissy Bulldog is done. Yeah, that's that's the name I gave it. The Bulldog. Because it doesn't look like a raccoon. It's uh, I, I guess that's why I didn't call it Rick or anything that has to do with you. It's not all about you, Rick. Okay, Rick, uh, no, never mind. I, I gotta get on with this. Okay, so we got the, like, apparently some missing spot. I got this opening here that I made where you can easily land a ship. And, uh, yeah, but I had to add some extra bottom thrusters. Otherwise, the freaking thing wouldn't lift off the planet. So we got our fuel tanks over here. We got everything all pretty much set up. Our shield generator, uh, which is currently not active. There's still a little bit of work to do on it. But uh, you know what? The recording had to go on. And uh, it's not like I was squirreling in real life and totally didn't take all the time necessary to actually fix this up. But, I mean, we got a lot done. Now, of course, there's a... Yeah, there's been room here. Added a constructor in here. Over here, we got their shield generator. And apparently, all the texture is not completely finished. But, uh, yeah, eventually. Eventually. <laughs> And work on that a little bit more. So we got our teleporter room, which is going to be nice. We'll be able to uh, travel back and forth from one ship to another using the teleporter. And uh, yeah, this room, still haven't figured out what to do with it. I put the fridge in there in the meantime, so we can have a little bit of storage for food. And besides that, I think that's pretty much it. The ship is up and running. Sadly, I don't have any additional room for crew up here. Yeah, no. So before I can do anything, I got to get this little ship that I parked in here back into the Hakon. Because this guy, I've added some uh, landing gears on it. You can't have a ship parked in this one. Uh, come on, come on. Get, 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 get out. Okay, this freaking whole landing thing is awkward. Ah, there you go. So I'm going to take this r little crappy ship that for some reason it is really terrible to drive. It's like it's the center of mass is above it. So it makes it really awkward to navigate. So let's just park this little sucker in here. We're going to get the other ship ready and park it on top of the Hakon. I did make another spot over here for the uh, another turret. I totally forgot to add that. So I'm just going to be making another projectile turret. And the only thing that would be remaining is to actually, uh, you know, load up the ship so let's make a couple of uh, everything uh these are going to use elemental patex and how much do i have left we have enough let's uh let's get cracking let's make a couple of everything so another minigun turret up top here should be good uh, i've textured all the gun to be uh, uh yeah black all the turrets are black uh why not so, yeah, this puppy will be ready to go. We just need to uh, fill its pentaxid tank as well. Let's just uh, do that right now. I want to refill its shields. And right now, I only got like 10 pentaxid on it. I'm going to have to make some more pentaxid. And while the ship is currently busy with all that, I'm going to use the teleporter and make a little trip back home. Now, why, why am I only seeing this? Is there something that makes it that I can't see my home anymore? Or is this part of the update and uh, bugs to be expected? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look into this. Hopefully, I won't have to wipe my game and start new. <laughs> start fresh. I don't want to do that. I've gotten so far. I've gotten so far, and uh, I don't want all of this hard work to be lost. Well, actually, you know what? I could kind of uh, save these as blueprints, start a new game, actually put them in, and it's just all the inventory loss and all that is just going to be a... Uh, a painful process. So let's uh, awkwardly park this thing on the Hakon. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be weird. Oh, there, there you go. It, it docked on it. That's not going to be weird at all. Now, I wonder only if uh, the Hakon will have the thruster power to actually be able to uh, pull all of it. Everything. I'll probably be extremely slowed down, but uh, I'm not worried about it. Rakuna, did you park that big ass CV on this ship? Yes, I did. You think the Hakko will be able to, you know, pull it? Yeah, it will. It will. I'm pretty sure of it. Rakuda, this doesn't seem really safe. Uh, what, it, what about it? Well, I could drive the other ship and you could just drive this one. I believe that would be better. No, 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 I don't think so. And by doing this, I'm going to be saving a little bit on, uh, you know, Pentaxid. Our deaths shall be glorious. Uh... Yeah, Deborah. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Whatever you're saying, uh, I'll just agree to everything you say, because everything you say all the time just never makes sense. 
when do we get paid again? So yeah, we're going to be going on this planet probably first. And after that, we'll look at maybe going back home. Um, I'm actually kind of worried right now. How so? I'm afraid that home won't be there anymore since the update. Oh, don't say the update. Bot won't understand. I know, I know. All right. Anyways, let's just go. Let's see how this handles. Oh, you know what? I can still get my... Whoop. <laughs> Freaking hell. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, yeah, the Hank, the Hakko has a lot on its uh, back right now. It's uh, doing double time. So the reason I wanted that is, uh, yeah, look at that. We got a Trisari ship. We got some more enemy ships uh, up and about. At least with the other one, I'll have my attack vessel I'm going to be able to bring out and actually shoot the bejesus out of other ships. You know what? Maybe I could actually put like a landing gear in the back and kind of have them back and back. So when I go out of the Hakko, it's going to bring me like right face to face with the back door of the uh, bulldog okay so i believe this is going to be close enough to the planet i don't want to get any closer with these cvs um i don't know first of all i don't think we can enter them uh, with the cvs we got to use a you know a small vessel to do so so if we stick a little landing gear over here maybe i can have myself a two by two landing gear like this so it kind of fits in properly let me see if I can kind of do make this happen. Okay, let's just turn this little sucker around. And we just gotta kind of get it freaking aligned with this. Uh, this is gonna be a little harder than I expected. Uh, yep, okay, fine. Let's go like this. And uh, let's just back up into the ship, hugging its butt. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm not at the right height. I gotta go up a little bit like this. And, and, will you let me dock? Yes, yes, it works. <laughs> I could actually dock the ship like this and then bring it around like that. Ah, that's great. That's great. So anyways, first of all, I wanted to uh, kind of uh, activate the shields, get it loaded up. And you know what? I could go on this planet and actually have myself some fun, but I, I really want to test this ship out. I really want to. I mean, I just made the freaking thing. So I did add uh, the polarized uh, hull shield. You saw that on the last episode. And I added some hull shield modulators. I added four of them. Now I did have the material necessary to actually build those. So I'm going to have extra shields. And now my shields are currently recharging uh, with all of the added pig tax. And the only thing is it takes a buttload of time to make. Uh, it's unbelievable. Anyways, uh, we'll just have to wait for the shield to recharge. I think before we actually go on the planet, we'll take this little puppy up for a test drive. I'm gonna be kicking some ass. I'm not exactly sure what ass kicking uh, is gonna happen. Maybe this uh, Tresari light auto defense over there, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just take it a look. We'll take it out for a test drive. So shields are up. I got plenty of ammo, except for this guy. Apparently I can't make the ammo since it isn't unlocked. Ah, Freaking damn it. Uh, maybe there's going to be a way that I can just buy it off of a station since I got millions and millions of dollars, which is uh, ah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, we're going to face this light auto defense. Uh, probably not going to be much of a challenge. I just want to kind of test this ship out and test its uh, durability and its maneuverability and all of the abilities out there. So, yeah, let's engage this. Rick, start some good music. Yeah, you can put your doom music. Just put it in there while we fight this freaking thing. Fire at will. Let's try and evade these uh, cannons there. Okay, wow. Yep, so, yeah, our shields can take quite a bit of damage. That is pretty good. And uh, is it is it dead already? Did, it, did we destroy the core? I think we did. You can stop firing now. Wow, that was the shortest battle ever. Uh, let's go test... Uh, well, let's get out of here and kind of check out what there is in this place. Okay. So, yeah, light... Uh, oh, look at that. We could probably take these rocket launchers off of them. You won't be needing them anymore now, will ya? All right. So let's uh, kind of plug into the uh, ammo repository and let's... Uh, collect all of these pieces i'm really gonna need to fix this gun yeah this uh <laughs> this multi-tool is almost dead so yeah we'll have to make it not almost dead that's exactly what i'm saying so plenty of rocket turrets uh that's nice i could either stick that in a deconstructor or maybe just use it myself 
probably I could find some more room on this ship. Because as you can see, this ship has a little bit of room underneath there. Uh, up front, you got that little row of blocks that uh, don't really need to be there. Yeah, I could probably stick maybe two more turrets right over here if I wanted to. Here's another one. Let's just collect that. And then we can go check out what's inside. Um, as you can see, we did poke a hole somewhere. I'm just going to go around until I find a freaking hole. There you go. This is where I made my hole. Yeah, it's a nice, glorious hole. It's uh, almost a glory hole. Uh, you know what? No. Now, Rick, Rick, pretend I didn't start this conversation. Ooh, an SMG. Uh, sweet. We got, we got stuff. I'll, I'll take all the stuff. All the neat stuff. And uh, what else do we have in here? Um... I think this is where the core was, and I completely blew to smithereens. And besides that, I think that all that there is left here are just blocks, and I won't be collecting those. Oh, well, maybe this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's loot what we can out of this, and after that, we'll just proceed back to the, uh, <clears throat> to the hot call. Oh, look at those. Can I retrieve those? Oh, a salvage pulse laser tur- I will. I will collect these. These are probably going to be useful. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Okay, uses 120,000 uh, CPU. It is quite a lot, but I do have the room. It's got uh, current range 1.30 kilometers, which is pretty reasonable. The only thing is it uses 50 PU. Is that good? I think it's good. It's not in the KPU, so that is pretty damn good. So let's see if I can find more of these. Another one here. And I suspect that there are two more underneath as well, so let's just grab all of these. You can actually stick them on the ship already. All of my enemies shall fear me. <laughs> all right, this is pretty good. All right, let's remove the core off of this and let's just go. Yeah, I'm going to put them on the ship because they're using one space each. They can't stack. Boo, no stacky stack. Okay, well, since they don't uh, use all that much space, I guess I could kind of put them in here, front, like that, and like that. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Nice, except I'll need the high-powered laser two-pew things. Uh, I must have some over at the Hakal. Well, Rick, I think that was pretty much a successful attack. That was pretty good. I'm quite happy with the results of that. So how about we do like one of these fast warp things that goes all the way to the Hakal? How about that? Uh, Rick, Rick, stop, stop, Rick, Rick, stop. Ugh. Well, okay. I know the whole sound effect made it sound a lot worse than it was, but uh, there is no collision damage. <laughs> so let's kind of awkwardly park this freaking thing again on the back of it. You know what? Maybe I should put a pilot seat on the back of that and kind of help. Just when it comes to parking purposes of this thing, it's going to go a lot better if I could just go park it. And there you go. It is docked. Sweet. I love it. I love it. So highly powered alien ch laser charges. Uh, let's go to see if we have that over on the Hakon. Well, look at that high powered alien laser charge. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, we got some more alien pew pew things, but uh, yeah. And I got another one over here. Now this acts like a clip, so should be good. Now, do I have any laser uh, CV pew pew things uh, in here somewhere also? I probably don't have, which means I really We'll need to go and purchase them. Go out of one ship and go into the other just like that. That is pretty freaking efficient. So, Raccoon, how was the test drive? It went super well. The ship is ready. Oh, good. Are we going to be able to come with you? Or are you just going to leave us here when it comes to battles? Uh, I'm going to leave you here for now. Maybe eventually I'll make room for you guys inside so you can just tag along and uh, help me destroy the bejesus out of anything willing to attack us. That sounds fine by me. All right, I, I gotta go on the planet now. Good luck, Rakuna. The armor icon here for my combat armor is green. It is green. It's very green. So let's get the wasp ready. Let's go down on the planet. Let's go kick some butt. I'm gonna check my ammo situation. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I could use a couple more rockets here, but uh, yeah. I guess I should have thought that before I actually started uh, getting inside of the wasp. So make a couple of these and a couple of these, and uh, we'll just wait for that to be ready. Uh, yeah, 
Okay, Rick, just skip to the part where everything is ready and we're about to leave. Okay, thank you, Rick, for that uh, quick skip. Now it's time to head over on the planet and see what this is all about. Okay, so we are on a planet. It seems very mountainy. Yeah, is that a word? Mountainy? Yeah. Mountainy, cliffy, bumpy on the surface of the planet. Uh, except I'm not pinging anything right now. But there seems to be a lot of uh, restroom deposits. Sweet. But it's not like I really need those, some restroom, uh, to be honest. So let's just kind of fly about and uh, see if there's anything of interest on this planet. Ooh, so we got a reclaimed archaeological site. Oh, I think I might have heard of those. Uh, basically, you find some of the POIs, but they've been reclaimed by either colonists or Polaris or something like that. So there might be some friendlies up and about. Uh, let's go check it out. Oh, hi. Hey, uh, Polaris Assault Rifle. Uh, uh, assault Rifle. Uh, assault Cyborg. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, so basically, they, these are pretty much the same POIs, except uh, yep, they made uh, they, they came here and got it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can still access all the... Oh, crap. Okay, they, they didn't take everything, so that is good. So, oh, there you go. Free, uh, free food. I'll take it. What is this for? Yep, lights on, lights off. Really? Really? That little light is lighting up the place? I don't feel like it's doing a good job at it. So, oh, hi. Hey. Lots and lots of Polaris Lavillians in here. And uh, apparently there's a standing Deborah. L or looks a lot like Deborah. You're not Deborah. Yeah, no. You don't have her uh, charming personality. I'm sure of it. Yeah, so a lot of these... Uh, baskets and stuff like that will already have been uh, claimed by the Polaris. So let's go see. I just want to check to see if... Uh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I just want to see if uh, all the loot has been collected from these places. So yeah, going through these, uh, I suspect that all of the uh, aliens in here must have been killed. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I can hear spiders. I can hear spiders, and uh, there's a lot of people just having a good time down here, apparently. Hey, Mr. Cyborg, uh, can you please move aside? I know that there's a loot crate over here, no normally. And... Aha! Good! We we still have some stuff that we can collect from these. Well, that that's not bad, so it's still worth a stop. You might not be able to remove the core afterwards. Uh, can you please move out, sir? So you might not be... Aw, oh, really dangerous uh, material ahead. No entry beyond this point. But I do love what they did with uh, with it. So, uh, can, can I go in here? Hi, sir. Can you let me move through? Uh, can you please close your mouth a little bit? Okay. Yeah, you, you should see a dentist. Your teeth look weird. Uh, really weird. Okay, let's see if I can crouch and move through here. Huzzah! Um, hi. Hey, how's it going? Um, I hope you're not going to attack me. If I come here and loot all of this juicy material, there you go, huh? Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. And uh, although I can hear some uh, bugs up and about, I don't know where the freaking hell they are. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a relatively safer place to be now. But I can still hear some spiders. Oh, look at that. There's uh, still some bugs down there. Uh, can I kind of push one of you Polaris guys down there and you can uh, actually attack them for me? Right. Oh, look at that. Look at all the freaking bugs down here. I think this might call for a flamethrower. Yeah. Look at the new model. Isn't it nice? We'll go down there and just, uh, yeah, let's use a flamethrower on these guys. Oh, apparently you're not, you're barely doing any damage to them. Well, you know what? I got, I got this gun I could use, I guess. Let's just eliminate everything down there, shoot them one by one, and just collect the loot. Hi, big butt aliens. Apparently, you're every freaking where. And apparently, you're not seeing me. Otherwise, you'd be uh, shooting your weird stuff at me. Yeah. Hey. Don't, don't think I didn't think I, I didn't see you. Okay, so I believe that does it for all of these uh, juicy, juicy creatures. Except for this one. Big butt aliens. Okay, so, uh, yeah, over here we should be able to find some of the loot crates that there was down here initially. Unless they've been removed. Well, something happened here. Oh, hi. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, well, if there were loot crates down here uh, before, they have obviously been removed, I believe. Unless it's uh, behind all of this. Yep. No, it isn't here. It isn't here. So... 
yeah, I know that a couple of uh, POIs have been converted to this, like the abandoned bunkers, uh, abandoned this and that. Uh, not exactly sure to what extent. Uh, where am I? Where, where? Where? Okay. So we'll just get back into the Wasp and do a little bit of more uh, checking out of this planet and see if there's anything else worth our while. And I think the reason why Know It All DM did this with these uh, POIs is because they don't want you to have uh, the all of the good CPU extenders that can be found in some of them. Like uh, if you go to the assembly yard, the abandoned assembly yard that has like all of the CPU available and you can just de deconstruct them and convert them to CV CPU extenders and then you're overpowered right from the beginning, right from the get go. So they're kind of removing that capacity. It's kind of slowing your progress a little bit. Okay, over here there's a crash shuttle, but what I'm curious about is what the freaking hell are these? Uh, what is this glowing plant? Wh what is all this glowing stuff? What is this? Uh, can, can I take the mushrooms? I will take the mushrooms, but I like the touch that they brought to this. This looks kind of neat, the glowy mushrooms. Maybe they can have like a special icon and uh, just make it a special mushroom that can do other properties, you know, that can kill you or... Oh, look at that. Look at that all built-in glowiness. This is fantastic. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I know that I did need some mushrooms though for uh, one of my quests. Uh, I think it's the medicinal quest or something like that. So I am going to grab a couple of these and uh, maybe we could kind of proceed with that. Oh, so this is a slime planet. Hi. Hey, are you going to give me some of that ghost uh, stuff, right? No? Yes. Oh, slime goo. Uh, apparently you can collect slime goo. Nice. Hey, don't, don't you fret. Don't you worry. I'm just, uh, 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 it's nothing personal. It's just food that I really don't need right now. So, again, I really like what he did with the glowy plants. That is cool. That is cool. That is unique. Yeah, so here's another one of them. That is the Reclaim Factory. Uh, yep, apparently it's uh, probably got to be uh, full of Polaris again. Let's see uh, about just checking it out. Sorry for landing on your head, Mr. Cyborg, sir. I didn't mean it, but uh, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, I think I just landed on Cyborg, dude. Th these are his legs. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Don't take it personally again. Hi, hey, yeah. I, I suppose that you guys have uh, already uh, taken care of this place, right? And since this is an admin court, there's no way that I can blast through these, right? Is it? Is it? Nah, it's fully health. Uh, yeah, full of health, nothing I can do. Uh, where's the chief? Where's the commander? Um, yeah. No, nobody. Well, there's still some loot again. So it is kind of interesting that uh, you can still loot some of the stuff in here. It's not uh, claimed by the Polaris. I mean, what have you guys been doing? Look at that. Look at that billboard. It's still messed up. It's still really messed up. I see you guys just got here and haven't had time to really fix anything yet, right? But that's okay. I'm going to do the hard job, which is to loot everything in here for you guys. Oh, looky here. Some uh, missiles. Yeah, I'll take all that. You don't, you guys don't need this, right? You don't need it? I'll just grab it all if you don't mind, okay? Yeah, so some of these storage are uh, completely empty, uh, <laughs> apparently. They have had time to uh, started looting a little bit of the stuff. Oh, I'm going to take this Pentaxit for sure. But they haven't had time to do the whole base. Uh, salvage tool, I'll pass. I'll pass on these. I mean, I could always pick them up and put them in the deconstructor. And uh, there you go. Uh, some more food over here, more emergency ration. I'll take it. Uh, are you going to allow me to go inside here? Are there more enemies down there? I see that there's still some lockers over here. You guys didn't take the time to actually check them now, did you? Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll relieve you from that stress. Don't worry, I'll give it back to you guys after I'm finished looting here. Oh, look, more Pentaxid. More very valuable Pentaxid. You know, although you guys are in here right now, it is still freaking looking ominous as hell. Let's uh, stick some of these things in the fridge there so we don't lose them. I'll take the waffles, if you don't mind. Oh, look at that. More uh, Pentaxid. I will I will take it. You know, I'm just going to put it in the right place there. Promethium fuel. You guys really haven't taken the time to look at this. It's pathetic. What's in here? Uh... Are you an enemy? Are you gonna shoot me? Apparently not, and I'm fine with that. 
plenty of medicine everywhere, lots of devices, too bad I can't loot them. Now, I haven't done one of these POIs in this, uh, in this, since I started my Star Salvage series. It would have been cool if I could have found a, a live one, one where, you know, Polaris aren't here. So we got a hole down here. Um, yeah, can I open this door? Is there still going to be some enemies in here? Apparently not. You guys have totally taken over the place. Even if it patched up the holes, that is sweet of you. How considerate. You don't want anybody else to get hurt now, do you? And that must be the reason why you have this thing here. Yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Uh, I hope you deactivated these. I really do hope so. What happens if I flip the switch? Oh. Hey. You turning or... Yeah? I'll just turn it off, just in case. I'm kind of a little worried here. These guys uh, might start turning my way and shooting me. I don't want that. You know, sir, usually there's a turret right here, I think. Is, is that it? Yeah, in this hallway? I believe there is here. Maybe it's still underneath that. I'm just, just saying, you know, just be careful. Well, you know what? This, oh, okay, this is open. <laughs> so we can have access behind here. I know that there's usually some loot crates around here. Uh, maybe not in this specific area, but on the other side, maybe? Where are all the loot crates? What did you guys do with it? Oh, okay, so trapdoor is already still there. Um, hi? Uh, wh why can't I open it? What is going on? Is there a lever I gotta press? Is there something out here I gotta press to be able to access it? Hello, door, could you please open? Yeah? Well, that's a bummer. I know that there's an epic loot crate behind there, I believe, but, uh... Yep, they, they just don't want me to have it. No siree. Okay, infection substance beyond this point, cleanup crew access only. Oh, look at that, this uh, the console deco. This one as well. Is there a reason why they are damaged? There you go. You know, I'm afraid that if I damage this, you might get hurt and uh, then you guys are going to kill me. I don't want that. We can't have that. I don't want to mess up my reputation with the Polaris. So, can you please just scooch over, please? Oh, so this is the cleanup crew. Cleanup personnel, right? Yeah, I think you missed the spot over there. Yeah, you, I see a lot of Xeno still. You guys have been doing a terrible job at this. Aww. There's supposed to be loot crates up here as well. Okay, can I open this? Will I get shot on the other side? Apparently not. This is good. This is a good thing. You know, I see a lot of people down here, and none of you guys are doing any cleaning up, okay? You're doing a terrible job at this. Okay, heavily infectious substance beyond this door. <laughs> okay, definitely want to go then. Hi. Uh, permit code 000. Oh my god, okay. Is there one of you guys that have a code someplace, right? I'll take, uh, I'll take all of this in here, but uh, I believe there must be a code lying about. Or maybe there just isn't, and it would be my cue to get the hell out of here since there's nothing really to do down here besides uh, loot whatever there is available. Well, although this was a nice old place, there's no uh, reason to stick around, so you know what I want to do? I really want to go back to the Hako and actually warp back to my home. I want to see if everything is intact at my main base, if it's still there to begin with. Uh, it is good to be back on the ship. Uh, yeah, food's ready. I'm going to be collecting all of this, and then we're going to be leaving. Going on the other planet, uh, going back to Mardor Tell, and uh, see if everything is still intact. I hope that n the update didn't kind of break it. Uh, but right now, my teleporter is uh, kind of doing like uh, I haven't explored anything. Anything. Uh, hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe I kind of did something wrong there. Uh, but right now, when I go to my teleporter, it's only giving me one place. And that's the Sissy Bulldog. All of the rest is uh, not there anymore. So it got me quite concerned. So I'm going to lock on to the Orntel system. Now let's uh, just turn this freaking thing extremely slowly. Uh, I mean, no wonder I'm having a little bit of trouble turning since... Uh, I got this big ass thing behind me, uh, making it a little difficult. So let's go and warpsy warps over to their destination. And apparently, upon coming here, I got another weird ship that just appeared with the update. Uh, okay, 
Well, our base is still located over there, and for some reason it is white right now. Um, hopefully it'll be my faction color as soon as I approach it. Now, we're going to go over there, and at the same time, I might take the bulldog on and check what that is. Uh, it's got me slightly concerned. Okay, so there it is. It's a tugboat? Okay, but what type of tugboat is it? Yeah, I'm still slightly concerned. <laughs> I'm going to take the bulldog just to make sure. In case the thing uh, attacks us or something like that. I have no clue what this is all about. We're going to check it out. Okay, lights on, thrusters on, everything's on. And there it is. Yeah, Jesus Christ, we're totally attacking it already right now. Our shields aren't even up, but uh, yep, we're just freaking blasting away at it. Come on, take it down. Take that little sucker down. And it doesn't seem to have any bottom defenses. Uh, whatever defenses it has, it seems to be, you know, basically under, uh, on top of it. So we'll just blast away. And uh, there you go. Completely deactivated. I think we've done enough damage. Can you please stop firing? <laughs> Fine. Fine. That was fun as hell. All right, let's get out there. Let's get out there. Let's see what this is all about. So I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my ammo repository. I'm going to put a claim core here and stick it on there so we can uh, collect all the thrusters. Apparently there's a whole bunch in there. And I believe this thing still has a core somewhere. Hello, core, core. Okay, every time I touch it, freaking floats away. Uh, could you please stop floating away and just stay in, s in place for a second? I would like to collect my uh, just reward there and loot the crap out of you, but you just seem to be going away all the time. I believe it is stop somewhat. Oh my god. You know what? What I gotta do is I gotta try and get a freaking core on that so it stops moving. The thrusters will get reactivate or something. Uh, let's, get, let's try and do this. Alright, stop running away from me. Stop. Stop running. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to have the core in my inventory and not uh, connected to this. What happened? Where's the core? Oh, there it is. Okay, tugboat. Tugboat, please come back here. Please uh, stop running away. I'm coming. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh, no access possible. It's... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. It definitely still has a core in there somewhere. But I can't really catch up with it since I'm just with my jetpack. And this thing is just keep flying away. Okay. Um, probably the core is behind there. It is floating in a very weird manner. I'm <laughs> just trying to get in there. Trying to blast my way through that freaking thing. But it's making my life a living hell. Maybe I could kind of shoot the right spot and destroy the core. Maybe that's going to work. Oh my god, this is way more difficult than it looks. It just never stops moving, and it's kind of rotating in a weird fashion. There you go, blasted something away. You know what? I think I just made it worse. I think I just made it worse. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna quit this. Yeah, no. I know you have all sorts of juicy parts, but uh, you're just kind of spinning out of control. Way out of control. Or, or, there is always that other way that we can stop it. Quit. Oh, look at that. Magically stop. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? How convenient. Yeah, that old get out of the game and just continue afterwards uh, to make ships stop spinning always works. Always marvelously works. And there is that core. There you go. Let's stick another core in here so I can loot the crap out of all this. Oh, let's grab all of these uh, justy buster. What did I say? Justy? Is that a word? No? Rick? Okay, Rick, stop making fun of me. I know. I said a bad word. Or a word that just doesn't mean anything. Whatever. So, yeah, just, just for these thrusters here, all of these medium thrusters, that is worth it. And we got all these small thrusters on the side there. You know, either I can use them or I can just sell the crap out of them. And I believe this is it. Oh, no, there's uh, one last one over here. So, yeah, that is pretty much what I wanted from this. And I got 15 medium thrusters out of this ship. It's stupid, but it's quite a lot. That's that's going to repay for all the thrusters I had to make over here. I could just maybe also stick them in a deconstructor. That would do the trick. Anywho, all I know is that we made a very short work of that freaking thing. Now let's just go back to the Hako and I'll see you guys back at the main base.
All right, so we made it back home. Uh, yeah, Sussy so Bulldog, the Hakon, everything. Uh, we're, we're finally home. And uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, looking at picking up our uh, all of the plants that I've been growing in here. I mean, it should have grown by then, right? Unless uh, because I was away on another system, maybe everything has halted. Oh, no, everything's, everything's grown. Everything is grown, uh, including all the mushrooms. So we'll be proceeding to picking everything up. Uh, yeah, we got all this nice pentax that we can collect as well. I'm just glad that everything is still here. And uh, yeah, there's nothing uh, that happened to my game uh, since the update, which is freaking still surprising me as hell. Maybe it must have been that update thing, that PDA update that I, we did, uh, me and know-it-all DM the other day. Oh, how, how dare you still be growing? You should have been grown by now, you liar. Yeah, we had to kind of work together to make uh, the mission work, and uh, we did something, uh, a PDA update and stuff like that. I think I've marked it on one of my previous episodes in the description. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what happened, and maybe because I we did that, it uh, everything's working fine. So let's uh, get our Philip Pentaxid. It's not giving me all that much. It's not like that rich Pentaxid that I could have unlocked. But uh, yet again, if I did that, then I wouldn't have any more points for anything else. And uh, yeah, I've been really stingy with my points lately. And there is my mushroom farm. <laughs> yes. And with this, I should be able for now to make my other quests happen. You know, I had medicinal and uh, I think I had more quests out there that I need to do uh, require me to make medicine or uh, you know food or whatever and why is this floor all busted up I thought I fixed all of that there you go there you go nothing nothing happened everything's fine and I think sadly this portal will not be usable I know that node LDM uh, told me that he might just make it so that we can collect these and actually uh, activate the portal in some way make them work together maybe it's going to be part of his updates i'm not exactly sure the only thing is he told me that uh, if i wanted to make this work i would need to go in god mode and all that and we can't have that no cheating allowed right rick yeah exactly anywho now i can see that all of these uh, are unlocked again i don't know why i couldn't see them before I don't know why. I have no freaking clue why. Uh, anyways, as, as long as it works now that I'm fine with that. Maybe I was too far away. What's this, What's the limit to this? What's the distance? 30 light years. I wasn't 30 light years away. I was closer than that. Anywho, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, as much as I'd like to uh, go through the whole medicinal process and, you know, kind of improve all of my other classes, I believe that is all the time that we have for today. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.